Hey friends, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in today's video, we are going to learn that how we can prepare monthly pay slip in Microsoft Excel. To prepare monthly pay slip, what we will do, we will go to view tab. In view tab, we will change layout. Currently, it is normal. We will click on page layout and you will see layout has been changed. Now, first of all, in pay slip, we will put heading. So what we will do, we will just leave first row as blank. We will select second row. In second row, we need to select seven cells. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. So we have been selected in 2nd row. We have been selected 7 cells. So we will go home tab and then we will merge these 7 cells. We will click on merge and center and now we will write here company name. That is part of our head heading, right? So let's say our company name is ABC company. So I will write here ABC company. So because this is heading, so we will just bold it. We will change size, maybe font size from 11 to let's say I will put here 16 and I will press enter. Now the row below this company name, I will select same seven cells. I will just merge this and let's say we need to write here company address. So I will write maybe our company address is Dubai. So I will write Dubai United Arab Emirates. So now again below this address I will select same I will select the row I will select seven cells again I will merge and here we need to write payslip because obviously we are preparing payslip and we need to include in heading that this is our payslip now we have been put our heading on in seven columns right so we need to make sure that our payslip becomes our payslip is prepared in these seven columns so what we will do first of all we need to adjust width of these seven columns what we will do, we will select uh, second and sixth column. We will select second and sixth column. We will change with how we will change with. We will go to home tab in home tab. We will go to format and in format. We will go to column width. in column width. Currently width of these columns is 0 0.72. We will just simply delete it and we will change width into 0 0.1 of which column second and sixth column. We are changing width into 0 0.1 we will go for ok and now for fourth column we have been selected fourth column we will change with we will go to format we will go to column width we will delete this and we will put here 0 0.20 so for fourth column we are changing with into 0 0.2 we will go for ok and now remaining columns are first third fifth and seventh we have been selected these four columns first third uh, fifth and seventh we will change with of these columns also we will go to home tab we will go to format in format we will go to column width and we will change with into 1.75 we will go for ok and now we have been adjusted with of our columns now we are going to prepare our payslip now after heading we need to leave one row blank we will start preparing our payslip from here so let's say we will put here details of our employee so first of all, I will put employee ID. Here I will put employee name. Here I will put employee designation. Here I will put department. Now here we will put salary month. Here month days, meaning how many days are in the month. Uh, then here we will put work days or let's say we can put here days worked right we will put here how many days this employee worked in this month then here we can put basic salary because we know basic salary is basis of our calculation right basic basic salary is basis of housing allowance transportation medical right so then what we will do in front of these details that we have been written heading of these details we will select these cells and then what we will do we will insert here colon sign we will insert here colon sign and we will use shortcut key control plus enter and this colon sign has been appeared in all these cells then what we will do we will select these cells that we have been filled we will simply bold this we will go home tab and we will bold then we need to put here details so first 
let us prepare the below table then we can come to this portion again we need to leave one row blank and we will just select this these three columns are these three cells we will go to merge and again from here fourth column to seventh column we will select and we will merge here we need to put earnings and here we need to put deductions we need to highlight let's say we can highlight in light gray color and then here again we need to put details we need to put here different types of earnings obviously first thing is basic salary then here housing allowance then here let's say it is transportation allowance transportation allowance here we can say medical allowance we can put regular overtime here we can put holiday overtime here we can put other earnings actually we don't need to keep these bolts we will just select and we will just do it normal then here we need to add different types of deductions let's say first type of deduction is national insurance then we can say it is income tax then we can say it is absent deduction then we can say it is advance salary here maybe we can say it is penalty here maybe we can say other deduction you can add as many as you want it depends on the company in which you are working so it is also bold we just need to unbold it we can go back to our this portion let's say we will fill this employee id maybe we can say nk0025 let's employee name is edward edward let's say employee designation is site supervisor then department let's say it is we can put is part of operations then salary month we can say it is march we will put here m-a-r-c-h march 2023 month days obviously in march it is 31 days then days work that is let's say employee work the same as we have number of days in month 31 days basic salary let's say we can say basic salary is 15,000 we just need to arrange we can select these and we can just do it normal and we can do it center then here we need to select this we need to put border outline we can put outline then again we need to put here outline we can put outline on earnings and deductions then here we will again put here outline because here we will be doing the total so we have been put outline here we will just add up all the earnings we will put some formula that will add all the earnings and then again here we will put some formula they will add all the deductions so let's say as we said basic salary is this 15,000 so housing allowance we can say it is 20% of basic salary transportation we can say it is 10% of basic salary medical allowance we can say it is 2.5% of basic salary regular overtime we can put maybe zero 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 then national insurance maybe we can say national insurance is 1% of basic salary income tax maybe we can say it is 3% of basic salary other deductions maybe we can put as zero we can change format we will just select this and we can change format of these numbers and now you can see this is total earnings and this is total deduction now we need to get net payable salary so here maybe we can we can put here total earnings here we can put total deductions and here we need to put net salary payable net payable and obviously net payable will be total earnings minus total deductions right so we will just arrange a little bit we will just do it right align we will just bold it we also need here section where employee will sign so we can select this cell maybe we can add this line bottom line you can see we have been added here bottom line where employee will sign we can right here below employee signature we will just do it center we will simply copy this and we can simply paste it here and here maybe we can write finance department signature finance department signature you can also put here in header you can put here pay slip march 2023 
you can also put the same thing in bottom or in footer so in footer we can put here maybe here pay slip march 2023 now we can go to the print screen to see how our pay slip looks like we will go to the file tab we will go to print and you will see that this is our pay slip how it looks like you can see this is how simple and how beautiful our pay slip is you can see this is a header that we put pay slip march 2023 and this is footer you can see how beautiful and how simple our pay slip is friends i will give link in uh, description of this video from where you can download this template of pay slip so that's all for today friends if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials also don't forget to press bell icon button Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye-bye.